Okay, we are now back and going to explore. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort provides itself a on great pr pr ah, not provides prides itself on great on a great stay. Just passing through, nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Blah, blah, blah. All right, time to get into the into the jam. Into the jam. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um. I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can eat, eat, eat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. As a slime, I'm outraged. Well, I'm sorry you were so offended, slime. Whoa! Room service! Got my CT! No, you don't! It's locked from the inside. Whoa! Room service! Got my cinnamon bun! No, you don't! Interesting. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. You put a dog residue in front of the door. It slides underneath the door, as if pulled by a magnet. Zom! It shoots back at high speed. Seems busy. Yeah, he's working hard. Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Please... Because of this incident, rooms are running at special rate. 200G a room. Interested? No, I'm good. Let us know if you change your mind. Have a sparkular day. That is a weird thing. Alright, there should be stuff here. What's this? Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Alright, we'll go to the left first. It's just a regular wall. Alright, cool. Now we'll go to the right. Because screw you, note. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. You should buy all our stuff. Empty gun. Empty gun. Heal 17 HP. Junk food is actually super helpful. Mystery key. You have too many items. Thanks, but we like don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get some go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand if you get a Metaton autograph to my butt. So like, what's up? I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend Braddy. Yeah, yeah. The stuff inside is like, totally wicked expensive. But like, the stuff we found is like, totally wicked cheap. You should like, totally wicked buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or- We found it in the garbage! It's good garbage. It's like, really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store? Duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster! Oh my god, Metaton! He's like, my robot husband. Actually, he's like, my robot husband. I think we're like, both are going to marry him. 
He's just like, he doesn't know yet. So, like, Dr. Alfie's bit built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie's was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore? Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Oh my god, Metaton! He's like, actually, he's like from Robot Huntsband. We're both like already married to him. He's just like, doesn't know it yet. Oh my god, Alfie's. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist? Yeah, we haven't seen her in, like, forever. So, Alfie uh, has always, like... Though, Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she's made Mudditon to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So, after seeing Mudditon, Asgore asked her to do all this science and stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet? Or her at all? She must, like, just stay, like, in her lab all day? Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big, fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. God, we're, like... So hyped for the destruction of humanity. That's dark. Like, see you later and stuff. Alright, I need to get rid of a few things so I can buy things. Whoa, look at all this dog residue I have. I honestly don't need a lot of this stuff. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Should be enough. I want the mystery key and some junk food. like later and stuff. Alright, dude. I know there's a store in here. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day! How can I help you, oh customer? Heal 68 HP, please. please don't ask. Yes. Thanks, he have a fabulous full day! Glam burger? You don't have room! What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I act chummy with the customers. Sorry. Uh, so, I, I wanted to be an actor. Take it from me, little buddy. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You still got time! Don't live like me! I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. NEVER INTERACT WITH ATTRACTIVE PEOPLE! Unless you're one of them, then they're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers! And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies, and uh, you know, see what had happened next. Uh, 
Then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled that the hamburgers in my pocket tumbled out to the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. When I first came to the Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Uh, well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy! God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. Every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a friggin' rectangle. Uh, you know, one time I thought of one of those, uh, kits online to, uh, Make yourself more rectangular. Uh, they don't work. Let's not talk about this. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. Uh, but wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, then we'll finally get to the surface. And I'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance for me. For everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Doing his voice really hurts. <laughs> Made me super lightheaded. Alright. Blarg. Alright, I'm unsure if I even got this yet or not. I can't remember what happened in the last few episodes. Or before I stopped playing for a while. But I th think I got the thing where it says I can go back to... Um... Go all the way back and uh, da -da 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 check stuff out with um, Papyrus and Undyne. I think I got that. I think it was left floor one. Yeah, you got it right. Tra la la, I am the river man. Or, am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where shall we go today? Waterfall. Then we're off. Tra la la, remember to take a break every so often. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Alright. Actually, first question. What is in my box? Bandage, snowman fleece, old tofu, CT, dog residue, dog salad. Alright, then. Is this the right way? I don't think this is the right way. I'm try I'm going off at this point ancient memories of Undertale. I've kind of got to the point where I'm not exactly 100% know it back and forth like I did when I first uh, started playing it. Yeah, this is the right way. Which is good. It's helpful. Mystery key I think goes to the store. It's locked. Alright. And this is just... 
his house, which I've already been to. There you go. Aha! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me! Psst. Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? I don't remember what voice I gave Undyne, so she's, yeah. She's just kind of normal. You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Eh? Hmm? Ah! Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne! My friend bought a gift for you on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie daisy, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Hmm. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Yes? Really? <laughs> How delightful, I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd be... I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> What a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're going to be... Besties. I'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Sit down and progress? No. I'm gonna check stuff out. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. One time, Alfie's, uh, friend came over here. Uh, all he did was lie seductively on the piano. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer. What? <laughs> I like that the character turns to face the camera like, I don't. Look inside the bone drawer? Does it happen again? Yep. What? This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing, but, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. 
There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Oh. Yeah, I already did it. Already did it. Skip, 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 skip. I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? Uh, sure. Ha! <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat on the table at the table? Sit down and progress. Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey! Don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what, why not just point at what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows, select with Z. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Soda, simply yellow liquid. Sugar goes in tea. Uh, tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up! It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> Slide whistle. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolute precious friend! Got a little too close to the mic there. Hey! You know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot kit head blah, 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 blah. You know, I was a pretty hot headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud getting their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. 
I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll go get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson... He was supposed to have that right now! And he's not here to have it. You'll have to sub in for him. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be the best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fists! How will you pound? Uh... I'm not a very strong kid. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. Ah! Yeah, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Ah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely, carefully. We're a wimp, so carefully. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! See repeatedly. STIR HARDER! 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 <coughs> Dying. I'm dying, I'm dying. Let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove's top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... And then they all died. <laughs> oh, no, everything's on fire. Aha! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh. Who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Oh, fuck. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. Even I... I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on! Hit me with all you got! <laughs> Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That- that's the best you can manage. 
even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Huh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shit. St no, that's not what she said. Stupid saccharine shtick. But, the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Huh. Listen, human. It, it seems that you and Asgar are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> the house is crying. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere I get else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! Alright. Oh, poor house. Poor house is crying because it's on fire. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that was a bit of excitement for this episode. Next time, uh, I think... I think I have to, like, beat Metaton to get the rest of this side story thing, so... I think that's what we'll be doing next time. Fighting Metaton. Or just going and visiting Papyrus and Undyne. Either way. See y'all next time.